Hello and welcome to another Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the, the Photoshop offset feature. Uh, what this does is allows you to tile any image you like perfectly. Uh, you can use this for 3D texturing um, or website backgrounds or desktop backgrounds or anything that requires an image to be repeated. So first of all we're going to search something that is not a repeating image. So for example we could do uh, clouds. So if we Google clouds and click images and this one here looks fairly decent so if we get the full size image of this and copy image and we need Photoshop so open up Photoshop create a new image and automatically puts the size in for us and we'll go edit paste and we can flatten the image here which just merges all of the layers together. Now, uh, it's got a little logo there, we want to quickly get rid of that. So let's grab the crop tool. And that should do. Now what we need to do to get our offset is we need to find out the exact height and the exact width of the image. So we can do this by going to Image, Canvas Size, and if we go to Pixels here, we can find out the exact height and the exact width. So what we now need to do is remember these two values and divide them by two. So that's 512 and that is 322. So hit OK. Go to Filter, Other, Offset, and it was 512 and 322. Make sure it says wrap around here and hit OK. So as you can see now, um, we have a nice cross. Basically what this has done is we put all of the edges that we know tile, which were from the center, around the outside of the image and all the edges that didn't tile in the center of the image. So now we can fix this fairly easily. So if we just go and grab the clone tool, set your brush size to about 100 for this particular image. Um, I always find when cloning things to set the transparency to about 90% and it gives a nice blending effect so if we hit alt pick an area to clone from and if we just clone up the middle here and with clouds obviously it's uh, quite easy to clone over the top because clouds are random so there's no distinct pattern so it's hard to tell if we've cloned it so just keep picking different areas like this until all of the seams are done. The trickiest part of all is the bits the closest to the edge. Uh, this is because we need to stay away from the edge of the image. Um, if we edit the edge of the image obviously it's not going to tile anymore and then we'll get our repeating again which is what we don't want. So we need to stay away from the edge of the image uh, but still make it look like it doesn't tile. So that one up there, you can hardly tell there's a repeat there now. If we come back down here, pick up another piece, and if we just dab over the top, you can't tell at all. So that's pretty good there. And if we just pick this up here, hit over the top. So obviously I've done this fairly quickly and it's not perfect. So there we go, there's our image and it should tile perfectly. So just to test this, if we go to File, Save As, and I'll save it on my desktop. And if I save it as just clouds.png, save, OK. And now basically what I've done is if I go to my desktop, I have a test HTML file here and my clouds.png. This is my uh, HTML file. So I now just change this bit here to clouds.png and I'll get rid of this just for the minute. And if I save that, open it up in a browser. That is the original image, by the way. If I just refresh my page, you can now see a pretty much 
perfectly tiled image obviously there is just a little bit that you can see a tile but you just go back into the Photoshop again and um, have another go with it and just edit that bit out but that there will apply to basically any texture you want so I've done this with wood, water, um, clouds, grass loads of different things it's a brilliant way to get perfectly seamless textures I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, hope it's helped you out and I hope you find it as useful as I do. Thanks for watching.